everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I want to welcome you to another amazing client session. I'm going to be sharing 30 minutes of distance energy healing and psychic wisdom. This is a follow up. The previous session, we were clearing pressure out of the head. So this is a part two. We're going to continue clearing pressure out of the head. And I, I welcome you to stick around. This session is for the client but this is a collective experience. So what the client is clearing and discovering and healing is something that we are all receiving together. So I hope you find this session helpful in your own life. If you're interested in booking a session with me, whether you want to do that privately or publicly, go visit my website, abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Also on Patreon, I have a wonderful community experience out there where we are growing learning, discovering together, go to patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. All right, I'm going to read these goals and then I'm going to get started. So you say, hey, Abby, that session was huge on my head and I felt multiple waves of clearing. For this session, let's do it again on my head. There's some more pressure that I feel in some areas. Okay. It's really nice to hear that you're experiencing relief and we're just going to take it to the next level okay and relax now get started here we go this is round two here for clearing pressure from the head I'm just going out before God and I'm welcoming God to guide me in the most meaningful and empowering way to really help you with this. This is interesting. There's a, a wheel and it is turning okay and it's like a wheel of fortune there's little pegs on it so i can hear it when it spins around and it's sort of a clicker on there and it's actually turning clockwise it's made out of wood it glows kind of a reddish color and i'm just watching it spin around it's slowing to a stop there's nothing on the wheel that indicates a message or a direction, it's blank. It's just made out of wood. You know, this is starting to remind me of wheels turning ideas. So when the wheel is turning, it's like we're cranking out new ideas, we're, we're thinking in new ways, and the wheel is stopped. And when I go to turn the wheel again, it doesn't want to turn. It's getting stuck. It's getting jammed. And I start to see it's a bit afraid. Hmm. I want to say this has something to do with your third eye, which means it would have something to do with your crown chakra because from the crown chakra, we receive um, high vibrational new inspirations, new ideas, and that funnels through the third eye so the third eye can take a look and decide um, what it likes or doesn't like and the ego gets involved. But if we can work with our heart, right, then our heart can influence and inspire the direction that we go in with these new ideas. And that's why I want to say that this wheel rep represents your third eye, but energetically it's pretty stale. It doesn't it's pretty neutral. Like it doesn't want to be defined as anything but this and it doesn't want to turn. It wants to stay stuck. It's almost like it's rusted stuck. Like there's some metal parts here. I feel inspired to go to your crown chakra. It's very warped energetically. It's almost like um, it's blubbery. It's uh, lava lamp like with a blubbery, like expanding, getting larger, smaller, um, blubbery kind of moving. It's white and clear energies. And it's it's about me. All right. It's in front, around, above. It's just kind of everywhere. 
And I say, who's in charge here? I get really irritated in my heart and I'm ringing a bell like, hello, hello, anybody here? It's like, what, did you go out for lunch today and you didn't let anybody know? I feel like I'm irritated. Like you're supposed to be at the front desk ready to receive me and guide me in my direction and nobody's here. Who's running this operation? That's what it's like. I'm, like. I'm still ringing the bell. I'm one of those pissed off people. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's what I'm like right now. This is good. Because it's a calling. And you've left the station of your calling. And it's time to get back to work on your calling. And me being this like pissed off Karen is actually a good thing because I'm representing a, a, basically the voice of, of, of your path saying, where are you? What are you doing? You need to get back to your station. You need to follow through with your purpose and your role. Hello. And I also represent somebody that needs your help. And you're not coming to the station to guide people or even guide yourself here. It's like you left the building. <laughs> Need to come back to your post. Why are you so shy? What is wrong with you? And I, when I say that to you, what I mean is what is so wrong about you that you aren't worthy of being valued, that when you come to your station and I see you, that I can't appreciate you. It's almost like you're, you've you left because you decided that the way people are going to treat you or the way people are going to see you or they, they're going to receive you um, has already kind of knocked you down a bunch of notches and you just don't want to... Um, be present for those um, judgments or devaluing of yourself. But you already decided what the viewpoint was going to be, so you devalued yourself. It wasn't anybody else that devalued you here. It was you that devalued yourself to give you permission to not participate. So stop devaluing yourself. Come back and participate. Come back to your station. The annoying Karen is here calling for you because we want you to come back. Not because we're jerks here, but because we miss you. Because we need your help. Because we need your support. That tells me that you have a bigger role and that the, the energy and the love and the purpose is, is inside here. In your heart. Maybe this pressure with the head is that we need to really get the energy flowing but around all of your chakras. So there's a proper like inhale and exhale going on here, okay? You're important. You're very important. Here in this role, it's like you're a secretary, but I'm telling you, you are a very, very, very important person. The world doesn't turn unless there's very important secretaries in it, you know? That's what you represent right here. <laughs> You're really ashamed of yourself and shy and you don't want anybody looking at your face. <laughs> You're like, don't look at me. And you are coming in the door and you look strange. I mean... You look like, uh, you know how minions are kind of like these little rounded people? You look like a little rounded person, but you're kind of like a black outline and a gray um, shading interior. I can't see your eyes or your nose or your mouth. And you're just, but you have like a little bit of a, you know, like hiding your appearance. Maybe you're just not proud of who you are. You're not proud of your face forward. Doesn't represent um, you having pride in yourself or people seeing you. So I tell you that have pride in yourself today, please. Have pride in yourself today, please. And come sit down. You are the knowledgeable one. Guide me. I need your guidance. 
I can't guide myself in this situation. I need your guidance. That's why I've been ringing the bell. You don't know who you are or what you are. You're strange. <laughs> and I represent somebody like, I'm like, oh my God, really? I'm having to deal with this? You're strange and people don't, you don't know who you are or what you are and you're not showing up to work. Like, I don't have time for this. Like, get with the program here. <laughs> I'm one of these. The thing is, is it's a depression that, that, that you're giving into or it's, it's almost like um, these kind of uh, gray area thinking and the um, knocking yourself down a few notches and the avoidance and nobody wants me anyway and I can't have pride in myself today and please don't look at me, I'm strange today. Um, all this stuff it's it's actually um the it's giving you a perfect excuse um, to not come back to your post and it's manipulative and it's not where you actually want to be and it's not going to help you get where you want to go so again this annoying karen is um is is seeing things correctly is actually has a solution for you who has a solution for her okay it seems like this is a give and take and we need you to show up. Okay. <sighs> this is getting better. It's I, I feel like come on now. Let's 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 move this along. Let's see you in your post and let's see where this takes us. But you're going to have to decide that you want to be there. Do you want to be there? You just look like a big, sad, grayed out minion. Like, hmm. I mean, it's cute, cartoony persona. You're kind of like a sad banana, <laughs> but you're a gray banana. <laughs> you're strange today. It's a depression. It's a in very influential um, state of energy. And so let me see here what I'm going to do about this. Okay, I'm going to forget everything that we saw and we're going to start fresh. I'm going to go to your crown chakra. It's undecided. It's not a useful tool. I don't belong anywhere. I have no purpose for my existence. Those are the kind of energies it's expressing. So we want to rebirth your crown chakra so that it's bright and confident and alive again and that you're welcoming the flow of new inspirations. And you are not the problem in your life, okay? So like, um, be proud of who you are and know that you're full of solutions. You're full of um, useful direction. You're full of usefulness. You're full of um, inspiration for others. We value you. We're thankful for you. We're grateful for you. So we need that energy to be prompted here in your crown, which tells me there may be some heart and a and like solar plexus chakra, like emotional gut, like energy damage. Okay, so when we can mend these, maybe sacral chakra, we're gonna start to bring those feelings, um, energy bodies back to life, which is gonna help the feelings inside your crown chakra, and so that's gonna help with the flow, and so there's not so much energy getting jammed in your head. Okay, so let's go here let's feel let's just go to your emotions first your solar plexus okay okay we it's weird in here there's a large man with a very large fist and a large arm and he just pounds the wall and it goes bump and, and what was that for why did you do that bump <laughs> like he's bored and this is something he do does when he's bored and he has a kind of like a um 
<laughs> you know, like somebody who's who's gonna take you to the guillotine, and they have like a cloth over their head, and you only see their eyes and like their nose opening or their mouth opening, and it's like he's wearing this like cloth over his head, and he's this big brute of a man, and with this huge body and this like bump um, on the wall, and he's just looking at me. Like, aggressively, with his guillotine, I'm taking you to get your head cut off eyes, okay? Like, I'm the criminal, and he's the bad guy that has to take out the trash or something. I just tell him that he's boring. I mean... <sighs> because he's all about trying to protect his emotions. He's trying to be tough. He's uh, covering up his face. He represents a role. He's this tough guy. You don't mess with him. Um, I'm bored, bump. Um, but I'm like this aggressive bored man that don't cross my path. But he's just protecting, protecting, protecting what he's really going through on the inside. I don't know why, but I instantly shove my hand into his stomach area and I rip out something from inside of there. It's almost like I rip out the very chakra itself. I have a squishy material in my hand. And he gets very, very scared of this happening. And I say, bad. Like, bad dog. Like, bad. That was bad. <laughs> And I pull, it's not the chakra I pulled out. It's not like an organ in the body. It's a substance that built up. It's an energy goo. Major bad energy goo. It's like a snotty mucusy glub. I just rip it out and I, I rip it out aggressively so. And I tell him like, um, those are bad choices or those are... I feel like a parent scolding a child or I'm scolding a dog. I feel like that was bad. And I just say bad. But this is toxic because I, I, I just toss it on the ground and it starts to burn a hole through the floor. And he starts to pee his pants and he does a tinkle dance and then he's tinkled dancing <laughs> that's what he's doing literally right now as he's peeing his pants i did not expect that and i say can let's work on communication because this isn't very good use of communication here so let's work on this and let's go into the throat chakra so that way we can get some flow here to help the crown chakra the emotions and then the emotions to express themselves through the throat and to be vulnerable um, and to be bad and that's okay because we can talk about why we make these decisions and that's safe to say the the reasons why and it's safe to talk about and we're not strange today we're not a grayed out minion we're actually this meaningful essential person um, that's the truth Okay. Throat chakra is like really tight, okay? It's like jawbreaker. It's like tight. It's not gonna dissolve this tightness. It's like a stone. And it's avoiding self-expression and it's almost like well-rounded or open flowing communication. And it should just be really refreshing and really like an open fresh air space. I'm pla placing images into the throat of open fresh air spaces. So like a park or a garden, um, an ocean beach scene, uh, mountains with the fresh air, a prairie, and forest. It's about spaces that you can go where you're just surrounded by nature and the energy of, of creation and breath and inhale and exhale. And that is a gift for your throat. 
that is the energy that's going to help nurture your throat. And there's a major insecurity that is living inside of here. And it looks like a gross old snail. And it represents emotions that got jammed in the throat as well. And there's sadness and there's a also self-reflection of um, a disappointed kind. And so we have the third eye here is evaluating you and your emotions is evaluating your throat and your self-expression. It's evaluating these things. So there's third eye in here too. Hmm. Hmm. So I, what I do is I place the third eye back in the third eye. We're not going to jump to any conclusions here. We're not going to evaluate the throat like that. You just go hang out here. Let's let the throat just have some time with the throat. And then the emotions, let's put those back here. Because there's just a weird, some weird links going on with these chakras. Um, so what I'm going to do is just continue to show the throat that it is healthy. It is um, breathing, fresh air. It is in the open, you know, air spaces. Um, it is happy. I tell the throat that you're happy, you're, you're refreshed, you're renewed, you're valued, you're an essential part of the life of our planet, you're, you're important, we need you, you're needed, you're wanted, you're, you're loved. So I'm going to go back to the emotional gut here with the tinkle dance, the peeing of the pants, and the big brute. And then the goo that went acidically through the floor. It seems like he wants to get beat up. Seems like he wants somebody who is, is almost like the way that he represents himself as being this like tough guy and he's actually quite small he would want someone to see through him and be that tough guy reflection and then take him down like chop his head off so he really actually represents what he would like to face happening to himself Almost like he deserves to be punished. He represents the punisher who deserves to be punished. But to face that, in all honesty, he loses himself. He is completely ridiculous in a way. He's an embarrassment, he's pathetic. He's a joke. See how we're getting to the emotions and we're speaking more. And the thing is, is these are the types of words that he is not saying out loud, but he feels it. And he doesn't want to identify with those feelings because they're harsh and they're cruel. Because he doesn't fully understand himself and what he is going through. And there's no room for open air for him and value of him. Again, why the crown chakra is struggling to show up. I see another being here that has many gross arms and it's kind of slimy and it's very angry and aggressive. It takes one of these arms and quickly shoves it into your throat and it's looking you in the eye and trying to burn your eyes out of your head. And it says, I hate you with all my heart as it is basically trying to rip your heart out or burn your heart out. And it hates you. It's full of hate. But then we remember that the reflection here is that this odd thing hates itself. It needs someone to blame because it can't live with the hate that it has towards itself. It has to be shared. 
And if it is shared, then it is set free. But no, it is imprisoned still. It is still imprisoned. And I tell the emotions that your heart needs you. Your heart is under attack. And we need help. And the brute stops um, this ridiculous dancing with peeing and goes to the heart and says, I'm needed. I'm needed. And then it looks at this like a, it's like a squid slash a gooey spidery thing. And it just, it just grabs its whole body and then lifts it off of your heart and then looks at it and says, we don't need you. We don't want you. We don't want your hatred. We're all struggling here. We don't need any more pain. Your hatred is your hatred for yourself. It is nothing to do with us. And the thing turns into a little girl and it's got like stars and is dizzy around the head and she starts to cry and say, what did I do wrong? Why am I always accused for the one that's always doing everything wrong? Why? Why? Why does everybody hate me? And the brute is confused. And the brute says, what does it mean to save or protect or to remove, but to resolve? And how do we resolve everything? Through communication, through action. Oh, that's a lot of work. And it seems like it's going to take time to work through all of this because she is yet an, another part of yourself. The brood is another part of yourself. My guides reminded me that we're working on healing your heart. And what if she's the unresolved part of the heart that we're working on here? Because she wants to feel loved and seen and heard and valued. Just like the chakras we need to work on bringing balance to all of them where they're working together and valuing each other. It's going to help you feel valued, loving yourself as a whole and feeling clear and able to move forward in your life as a whole person. She starts to change and she starts to remember that her purpose is important. And the brute looks at her and she looks at the brute and she says something makes sense. And she starts to glow with light and she remembers something of her own spirit. I'm surprised how quickly this is happening. But she goes kind of, um, she's like imploding into a little sphere of light and then she jumps into the heart and then she starts to rest. And in her sleep, she starts to create ripples of light. And those ripples of light are being sent into the emotional gut, into the throat, into the third eye, and into the crown chakra. So let's just to really quick look at your sacral chakra, okay? Oh boy. It's, it's like um, twisted um, and, it, and it's not like knots of a rope. It's more like knots of organs. It's like twisted up intestines, like, but it's knotted between the sacral chakra and the root chakra, like knotted together. And it's pretty awkward and painful energetically. Something seems like the oxygen hose has been um, clamped and there's not um, the breath that is required to harmonize or balance your sacral chakra. So it's pulling from your root chakra to find balance. So again, we're sharing from the throat, the open air, the fresh air. And we're opening up your sacral chakra here. We're opening up your root chakra here. Fresh air. Just uh, letting the fresh air flow. Really healthy, really rehabilitating, really, really good. Letting the fresh air flow. Much better. Let's go to the root just to take a look at it on its own. Roots um, kind of disoriented and trying to figure out what just happened. It's walking around, kind of bumping into walls. It's trying to find its balance.
and it's been holding on to something really tightly and it needs to let it go. When it lets it go, it looks like baked beans, okay? It just like, <laughs> like all these baked beans just like drop out. And they're kind of like hot baked beans. <laughs> I don't know, there's like steam coming out of them. And you start to cry and everything starts to, it's like click, okay? Everybody's able to hear the sound of everybody. Everybody's able to see the eyes of everybody. And there's an awakening going on here. <sighs> I'm going to go check that third eye and the pressure, right, with your head. And we're going to see if we can spin the wheel now. No, the wheel just disappears. And I see the kind of a spirit energy sort of developing in your third eye. And it's the spirit of yourself. And your ability to see yourself clearly and love yourself for who you are. Not for how society would judge you, but to love yourself for who you are. And this energy is like a waterfall and it's flowing down through all your chakras, okay? Like a waterfall. And I feel like that waterfall is starting here from the crown chakra, but I feel like it's coming from much higher chakras. And it's just water falling down as like support from higher chakras right on down. And then nurturing even into your earth star chakra, this beautiful like pool of water is supporting you as well, even in a grounded place. And it's just thriving with the energy of, of water and light that is water as well. And emotion that is flowing and self-love. Let's just take a look at your crown real quick. It's not about this desk at all. It's That's all disappeared. It's played its role and now it's just a harmonious space. Just a harmonious space welcoming all the rays of the rainbow. All the colors of the rainbow. And all the colors of the rainbow are nurturing the waterfall and flowing down through your whole body. Crown to third eye to throat to heart to solar plexus to sacral chakra to root and down into your earth star chakra and down into the earth and even further that you're starting to feel just alive and colorful and with breath and harmony and everything that was ever judgmental or a brute or unable to speak or crying and about the hate and all that stuff it's all just done it doesn't have an existence anymore because everything is just a harmonious space now <laughs> that is pretty darn cool thank you so very much for this experience it was an absolute pleasure for those watching if you're interested in connecting with me highly recommend you book a session go to abbynormalswisdomquest.com again check out patreon patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest have a great day, everybody.